Hello there, Virgo, and welcome to your Oracle messages. I hope that you guys are doing well out there. I know that there's some things always happening, but everything's going to be all right, okay? So let's find out what you need to know about your current situation here. Oh, you guys are really claiming some type of new situation for yourself. So don't be afraid to really explore your options when it comes to freedom. When it comes to living wild and free, some of you guys may need to set some boundaries or <clears throat> take initiative. Excuse me, take initiative when it comes to creating more balance in one's life, so that you have more freedom to play, to be wild. Um, for some of you guys, there's a lot of movement here too, so there could be something about change of scenery, um, being more spontaneous, being playful here. Okay. Let's see, claim your independence and choose your freedom and don't be afraid to explore what's really out there and explore something um, within yourself too, Virgo, okay? I'm picking up fire sign energy coming through, Virgo. So some of you guys have um, fire placements strong in your chart, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. What else for a Virgo? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What is going Anger and chains and gilded regret. There's something going on about channeling and transmuting and really releasing past anger. There could be something that we're really um, tied into here when it comes to really releasing and letting go. Anything that has tied us into feeling angry or regret here. There could be living in the past a lot and it could be consuming um, you know, a part of your life here that you're really meant to and born to create something new right now. So give yourself some permission to release whatever you guys can to be free. Okay. So Virgo, I'm getting five of cups energy. I'm also getting more fire sign energy here. So there's something about breaking free and having these chains released. Okay. There could, you know, this gilded regret, this is really, um, you know, coulda, woulda, shoulda's, or maybe just not feeling so hopeful about the future or optimistic about the future. And so we could be clinging on to, and some of you Virgos, I feel that you've been working really hard towards um, being free emotionally, being free, um, you know, to explore more balance in your life and what's um, available and what's possible for balance in your life. Okay. But there is a sense of something new here. Okay. And I am seeing something fast. So, you know, be ready and willing to move with the pace here. What else for a uh, Virgo? Virgo, whenever you uh, get to this video and it resonates for you, then it's meant for you, okay? And guess what? You know what I was talking about with this like whole new beginning? Well, it is really assured here, but pay attention. This is a time to be really aware of one's thoughts and feelings, okay? I'll tell you a quick short shortcut, real, a real quick way to figure out <clears throat> whether or not you are in stuck energy is to really be in tuned with how you're feeling. Um, because whatever you guys are thinking, it's projecting feelings through you. Okay. So when you're not feeling so good, when you're feeling that, uh, you know, sense of remorse, regret, um, maybe even a sense of impossibilities, this is when you need to shift. This is when you have your power. This is where you get to claim your freedom. Okay. Now, speaking of, we have, uh, Ace of Pentacles and I love this. We have uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. There is something about you guys really paying attention to a brand new opportunity. And this really is going to um, feel like a divine gift because a lot of you um, Virgos have experienced some type of incredible loss, okay? This is a divine blessing coming your way because there's something about you guys being strong in your spirit. Some of you, I'm hearing this thing about your prayers, your affirmations, the healing work that you're doing is causing a real opportunity here. Okay. So this is something that is, um, going to be around and, an and, and could provide for a long time here. Prosperity, divine gifts. 
this is a time for you guys to really explore what's um, going to be popping up in your environment. And I'm also getting, um, for a lot of you Virgos, this there's someone that um, is significant um, as well here that will be a very strong um, energy source for you. I feel that this is going to be someone that could um, guide you or is aligned with... Um, you know, your truest uh, treasures and visions in the, the long term here. Now, some of you, some of you uh, Virgos may need to take some time to um, really uh, figure out what it is that you want, new goals, new visions, okay? But there is going to be some type of, um, for some of you guys, this could be money. Um, this could be something here that could really bring a, an abundant of opportunities, not just one. What else for Virgo? So Virgo, all of these uh, videos are timeless, so whenever you get to it and it resonates, it is for you. However, if you find that the messages don't resonate for you at all, check your moon, your rising, or your Venus signs, or feel free to check out the past oracle messages or SOS readings or pick a card readings. Those are all timeless. You Virgos are going through an, an immense amount of, um, you know, uh, I would say... Uh, challenges only to encourage you to stay very strong now we've got courage and we've got cycles here right everything has its right time just honor the cycles of your body and uh, tune in to um, the moon's magic so this is a time to really get involved with what's going on um, underneath the surface what's going on in the mystery because something is going to pop up something real something tangible is going to pop up here spirit wants you to really know that you guys are safe virgo fear is an illusion some of you guys have to work on creating boundaries to really maintain um balance or to uh, transform into more balance into your life here okay so the struggles you've gone through i see have not gone you know, you haven't gone through these for, for nothing. There is something that is forming here. I am seeing these three butterflies. So I'm getting something about you guys um, feeling connected, uh, especially for those of you Virgos that are feeling a little sense of disconnection, okay, with others, okay? So open yourself up to a new person, new opportunities here. There could be something with work or some type of new contract or some type of um, big, huge uh, purchase for some of you Virgos that will be um, a wise investment. <clears throat> Let's see, what else for Virgo? Oh, release your past life karma. See, this is the thing, Virgo. There may be a lot going on here with this anger and chains and this gilded regret. There's a lot going on with past you know, with past memories here. Um, yeah, there's a situation where we've got past lives here. So a lot of you Virgos, you know, you really are releasing a past life karma. I want to say for those Virgos out there, you may resonate with the last published SOS reading um, from today's date. Um, th those are all timeless, but I feel that you would resonate with that. Anyways, you're an old soul with deep wisdom. So there's something about you knowing in your, in your soul how strong you guys are, having the courage to move forward here. I am getting some of you Virgos having Leo placements in your chart as well. Um, anyhow, healing your past lives, right, is raising your vibration. So the more that you release uh, and stay aware of the now and what's coming, this is how you guys release these chains. This is how you're releasing um, any karmic energy right? So something brand new can arise. What else? I am getting like five of cups energy with that cycles card too, um, Virgo. So water sign coming through cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Some of you, it may feel like it's going to take a lot of courage to really move on, um, maybe from a lost opportunity or a lost dream or something that was, you know, um, 
put put Virgo into a state of having to heal, having to mourn, having to, you know, grieve a situation or a dream or a person. Let's see. Oh, I love this malachite. So maybe some of you guys might be drawn to the color green uh, malachite um, crystal here. So nature. Ooh, some of you, there is this green color around cur uh, this courage card. So I'm getting something about you guys really being in tune or getting your strength from being out in outdoors more or out in nature here. Um, some of you guys, you may need to just d disconnect um, from others, just, you know, if, especially if it triggers you to go into the past here, okay, or puts you in a state of feeling stagnant because I'm seeing something about you guys moving at this time, taking an opportunity and going with it, okay? So this is all about your heart healing here too. This is the heart chakra. A lot of you Virgos, stay open to the idea um, and don't give up hope for those seeking love um, or something um, when it comes to um, a heart's desire here, okay? Your heart is healing and you need to trust that. This is part of, um, you know, divine timing, knowing that everything has its cycle. What else? Wow, Pipestone. We've got Ancestors, Root Chakra. And I'm looking at this Ace of Pentacles with this white buffalo here. This is divine gifts. So there's something that is coming through here from your ancestors. And this is very interesting because I am seeing a lot of you guys... Um, Virgo really releasing something and your ancestors are really proud of you when it comes to um, releasing past life karma okay I'm also getting this energy of passion um, transmuting for some of you guys getting help um, or being guided through a period of really channeling or transcending transmuting that anger or you know, regret energy or whatever we've got going on here that we're feeling that we can't move on from or that it's been very challenging, okay? And channel and cha channeling that into something that is very um, secure for you, something that is going to be more grounded and rooted and pa um, stirs up passion. So some of you Virgos, you may want to take some time, maybe look into... Um, you know, ancestors or just knowing that you really do have very strong, a strong bloodline, but also a strong energetic spiritual line as well that's coming through Virgo. So some of you Virgos connecting outdoors or, um, you know, spending some time with animals or nature may actually help you guys really be in tune with what's going on as far as um, past you know, situations also maybe um, channeling ancestors here. Okay. What else? And getting divine messages from them. See, we got this more about healing. Is this fuchsite? I don't know if I'm saying that right, but we've got healing heart chakra. Okay. So I am seeing something. A lot of you uh, Virgos really have um, a destiny of healing or aiding others in healing as well and helping others release um, what could feel very karmic to them um, and forging a whole new future for themselves. Okay, so you really are a shining star for a lot of you Virgos to others or you're going to become one. So stay true to your path here. Know that you, you guys are coming into uh, becoming very strong. Um, there's something about your heart uh, getting strength here as well, okay? So pay attention to, um, you know, how you're feeling, um, what, what, you know, what you're putting yourself into and making choices that really uh, gives you guys a sense of freedom, especially freedom and expansion when it comes to your heart, okay? And things that are very meaningful and fulfilling for you what else oh this is nice i'm feeling a lot of you virgos are getting encouraged to really move or dance um just to for some just to move some stagnant energy here and also for a lot of you virgos so that to help you guys really manifest your desires more quickly okay if you're moving your body to music you guys really um 
end up being in the present moment, which really opens up the channels uh, for things to kind of uh, flow to you more quickly, more easily here. So dance with the rhythm of life too. You know what? If things are slowing down, just go with the flow. When it's speeding up, speed up with it, okay? Pay attention to that because I'm seeing cycles here, right? You're manifesting your dreams through dance. So some of you guys, what you're going to need to do though, for some of you Virgos, is to dance without feeling inhibited, okay? Don't worry. Just move your freaking body. Play some music that you know, that's tuned in to your emotions as well and kind of flow with it, right? If some of you guys want to listen to some songs for healing or sad song, whatever, dance with it and then start noticing little by little, you know, the music changing, the motivation changing. But right now, a lot of you guys are really encouraged to dance. Um, and it's very healing and helpful for you. And some of you guys, you're really uh, great dancers anyways. But there's also, for some of you guys, I'm getting... Um, dancing really helps open up um, a lot of energies within you to really um, help you heal um, and align to your higher uh, self here, okay? And your soul's purpose. Discernment, all is not what it seems. So this is the thing that I was talking about, Virgo, about diving into the mystery or the unknown, right? Um, also, stay true to your knowing and keep your dreams a secret. That could be hard for some people because I feel for some, they're programmed or trained to feel that they have to tell everybody everything or you got to tell people your goals and your dreams. But really, this isn't the time to do that. I'm seeing something about staying silent and patient okay your dream is soon to become a reality by the way this is real it's tangible okay so uh, i am picking up high priestess uh energy coming through here too so there could have been a lot of you virgos having to deal with um, a lot of secrecies as well in the past um, or having to be cha um, you know challenged with um, secrets okay but right now it's, it's okay to keep your dreams a secret um, and allow it to come to fruition. Give it some time to grow as well, okay? What else? That is your dream. Give your dream time to grow. Wish upon a star. I was really getting that star energy too, and I just love this look at this and i mean we've got this like baby angel here so coming back to this sense of innocence right choosing freedom wishing upon a star this really is a magical time this is a time to really surrender and surrender to the renewal process surrender to what's happening here because a lot of you guys really are creating some type of new future for yourself that is really a new um destiny for you and it's beautiful so make sure that you're focusing your dreams your energy on the new right now or on a state of feeling renewed okay because sometimes it can be really hard to go from maybe for some of you you know depending on where you're at on um you know this past situation but it can be really difficult for some people to go from extremely sad or less hopeful to extremely positive okay because it feels not as true but um you know effort determination whatever you guys got to do but i'm getting a lot of you guys being granted a wish um so make sure that you guys are paying attention because um i see a lot of you virgos too <laughs> being reborn as a beautiful star okay so i was picking up a lot of you virgos um, are the star quality or you're, you're born or you're meant to be a star, okay? What else? Psychic ability. Pay attention to your own visions right now. And this is another reason why. See, I was picking up that high priestess energy, actually. Psychic ability, Labrador, Labradorite, third eye chakra here. So stay true to your knowing some of you guys th you're going to be more conflicted if you are questioning your own visions your own uh intuition okay um even your own experiences but make sure 
you're not diluting your experiences to the point where it's going to um, dilute your dreams in the future because for some of you Virgos, there's something about really claiming your independence, coming into more possibilities, more, 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 more abundance, more whatever it is, okay? But I do feel a lot of you guys, there's something strong happening here when it comes to psychic ability. And look at this, we even have ancestors. So some of you guys, you have like family and a bloodline that, you know, it's just strong when it comes to medicine man, medicine woman, psychic healers, okay? What else? So intention, and we're going to this place of new, wishing upon a star, focusing on manifesting this new um, thing for you. So be clear and decisive, focus on what you really want, right? And be bold with your request to the universe. Being bold with your, your request to the universe is going back to feeling what is really possible, right? And the other reason why for some of you Virgos, and I feel a lot of you guys kind of know this, one of the reasons why you don't want to share your dreams or things that, you know, to some people is because you might be talking to someone who has a very limited way of thinking, a very limited way of knowing what's possible as well. So you have to be careful with that, okay? Uh, what else? <clears throat> Oh my, yeah, we got past loved ones coming through very, very strong here. Chai still light. I don't even want to know how to say that, but we have past loved ones. Something is coming very strong here with past loved ones. Now, for some of you guys, I can see for some of you Virgos, there has been a passing of a loved one or, or someone that was very, very meaningful uh, to you for some of you guys or just whatever. There is just this feeling of having to let go of what um, we cannot change, right? But there's something coming strong here when it comes to feeling strong um, and rooted with where you're at. So there's something about you guys um, really understanding how strong and rooted you are. And um, I, I'm also getting something about a lot of you Virgos, um, your, your powers are only going to get more enhanced and... Um, and more in tune the more that you keep continuing to stay strong in a situation even though sometimes you're faced in a, um, a reality that you're you know you have a lot of uncertainties about right but um, we've got past loved ones coming in uh, very very strong here um, to help aid and guide uh, Virgo what else forgetting oneself and it's number 17 that is very very interesting virgo so i'm just getting this thing about not disowning yourself not forgetting who you really are because there's so much um about being very strong and rooted here um some of you you're just forgetting how powerful and strong you really are some of you virgos may have got so involved in a situation or some or something or someone that we've lost ourselves in that so this is a time that again i was getting this thing about you guys being in a state of renewal a state of newness um, a new reality a new destiny is being forged out right now so it is going to be um, to your best um, it's going to be to your best uh what do i want to say it's gonna it's gonna benefit you guys right now to really uh, be aware okay because this is a time where you guys have the power to really shift um, and go forward or to just you know have more of the same just in different versions and forms okay but don't forget you guys are um, coming into a new sense of yourself here um, so be gentle with yourself. Some of you guys, maybe you're feeling like you're having to, you know, claim your independence, but also reinvent yourself. Okay. But, um, I am seeing a lot of you guys, um, overcoming any issues when it comes to aligning with your higher self, with your strong self, and also aligning with the right energies too, that's going to be, 
um, giving you guys more hope in the future here. Okay, so I am getting this message about new prospects on the horizon, new friendships. Okay, a new lover for some of you guys. What else? So you guys are um, very, very, very strongly being guided right now. You really do have a lot of um, answers. And some of you, there may be this sense of um, something tied in with ancestors here. So it could be, um, you know, however you want to label it, good or bad. But the point is, is you guys releasing um, and really liberating oneself here. So this is a time of patience. Um, Spirit's going to gift you guys answers. Uh, the answers are within and it lies in your heart. And there's something strong happening with your heart chakra, also with your third eye chakra here. So, you know, your answers are going to be coming from your heart here. So start paying attention um, to what's happening, especially when it comes to um, healing that heart or things that are lighting up your heart. Okay. And also be patient. <laughs> Because what else do you guys have to do? So dance, play while you wait, dance, you know, do whatever you guys got to do. Uh, you know, some of you guys, you may need to um, figure out how you can create more time to just explore um, something new about you and what's possible, okay? And also maybe just change of scenery. Embrace the dark. More about this moon and feminine energy, okay? Embracing the dark, the mystery, the unknown. Embracing and loving even the dark aspects of oneself. Because if you don't, then you, you, don't, you can't help anyone. Because the thing is, is, you know, the human is just made up of so many, so many facets, right? But this is a time that you guys are being gifted a real dream come true for yourself a real release of uh, past um, energies here and becoming strong what else hmm. triumph of lies what was that one uh, message we got forgetting oneself some of you guys ooh some of you guys dealt with a liar, didn't you? A real big liar. Well, they're they're the, the king or the queen of their lies. Um, I want a little bit more, too, uh, with this triumph of lies for uh, Virgo. What's Spirit going to give me with this? The triumph of lies. Mm. Mm. Very interesting. <laughs> Whatever is going on in this situation, there's going to be some type of resolve. So you can bet that. Look, problems resolve. Lapis lazuli. Third eye and throat chakras here. So psychic visions, knowing something. Some of you guys, you know, you've got some type of discernment. You know whether or not people um, or situations are uh, a little sketchy. Okay. I do feel a lot of you um, Virgos dealt with a big liar. Okay, uh, and they're kind of having to deal with their own um, choices in those lies. But the thing is, is spirit is really guiding you guys to focus on being aware of the now and the present moment, because that's going to be your point of power. This is where problems start to re, uh, get resolved here. So wherever we've got going, whatever we got going on here, just know lies, problems, whatever it is, it's going to have a resolve here. Some of you guys, you're really going to have to work hard at um, focusing on yourself right now um, rather than others. Okay. What else? Seek that lesson. It's about seeking. Um, let's see. What are these? Embrace that feminine energy. Something is being born here. Love that you really are different, Virgo. Um, you're really going to receive the needs and the necessities of life. Whatever earthly matters you guys need, you really are, oh my gosh, you really are going to get it here. You really are going to be pr provided for it. It's like a lot of you Virgos too, I'm getting this thing about, you guys may look different. Some of you guys, I'm seeing different nationalities. 
Um, and you need to love and honor that about yourself. Or maybe you have different, you know, body parts that just are different here. There, this is something that you have to embrace and love and honor it. This is what makes you, you. Uh, let me continue here. Oh, see yourself in nature. Come on. Virgo, we were talking about that, weren't we? So you guys really um, do well out of nature here. Um, also, maybe some of you guys working with crystals, herbs, or something like that, right? Healing stuff, time to reflect. That's that whole thing that I'm getting about you guys. Um, taking time to reflect on what's possible, creating new visions, goals, dreams now. Um, taking time to seek the lesson. Um, and know that you guys aren't going to be left alone here because your path really is being illuminated. What is this? And know your fears, right? Knowing your fears in this time of uncertainty or that time of um, uncertainty, uncertainty that you guys have gone through, okay? Some of you guys are really um, being shown hidden fears within yourself um, or within others here, but it's also reflecting something and um, all of it has a purpose. All of it's healing and helping and aiding you, okay? Some of you guys, um, yeah, I just want to say there's something about you guys being out more, doing something out in nature more. You could meet someone out in nature. But again, I want to say put your focus on yourself right now because, you know, putting your focus on others right now is not going to do you any good. This is a time to focus on um, you, Virgo. Okay, be selfish with your, your time and your energy right now with yourself. I'm going to try to get these to fit in here. Okay. What else for Virgo? Yeah, I feel for some of you Virgos. There's just been a lot going on in the mind here. My goodness. More about you guys being um, gifted with abilities here. Seventh chakra. Opening yourself up for divine messages. Okay. Healing. Powers. This is your um, crown chakra being opened up. And again, I was getting a lot of you guys, um, you know, getting more powerful. So trust this. A lot of you guys, you just really are this angelic. You have this angelic um, energy about you that you bring to this earth that you bring to people yes we do go through challenges and changes and sometimes we don't feel like angels all the time because things you know things happen but as long as you keep seeking lessons and learning and stay compassionate with oneself and others you're not gonna fail okay and you will receive a dream come true you will receive some type of you know thing in your life that you can really um take a hold of what else for virgo okay that's it for those so let's find out how spirit is helping virgo maybe some of you virgos this might even be a time where um you might be wanting to simplify or being guided to simplify it you know with getting rid of old things or some things and just um, kind of just, you know, clearing space or lightening things up. How is spirit helping downcast pride? Oh my gosh. Oh, well, that makes sense. I really get the judgment card actually coming through um, for how spirit's helping you. So I really see something about you guys um, transforming and transmuting um, a part of self here, but also I'm just getting this thing about a lot of you Virgos having to deal with um, a liar or some, <laughs> or we'll just say someone who just maybe had a lot of pride issues. Um, but I am seeing you Virgos changing and transmuting an energy within yourself of pride, um, you know, being able to let go um and remember who you really are because it's the pride and the e ego that wants you to feel what's impossible or to cling on to um, impossibilities or to cling on to anger or to cling on to judgment and spirit is really helping you guys have freedom and, and really release yourself from that 
How else is spirit helping uh, Virgo? Nice. Earth Mother, protection. We've got the Queen of Pentacles really preparing you guys to be very successful. Okay, first off. Um, some of you guys, there is a mother, a motherly nurturing energy here as well. So we've got a noble soul. This is what I'm getting. A lot of you guys really being this, you know, wise, noble soul as well. And really, um, you know, I was telling you guys, having your earthly matters being met, okay? Your money, your food, your clothes, shelter, having more than enough and manifesting truly manifesting beautiful things in one's life without having unhealthy attachments to them okay so a lot of you guys are really preparing for um a significant change when it when it comes to feeling um successful when it comes to feeling protected and also feeling abundant within yourself okay and um you know boundaries some of you guys you're learning a lesson in boundaries with work or people okay so also for a lot of you um virgos too seeking love the other thing that spirit's helping you guys with is really feeling comfortable with yourself feeling good about yourself and preparing you for a life partner okay so i hope that was helpful love and light take care